Welcome to a video about tables. In this video, we're just going to be going over tables, which will cover arrays and dictionaries. They are two different types of tables, and they each have their own properties. So let's get started. So let's just say this. Tables are use these brackets. I'll go ahead and comment this. And okay, they use these brackets to create. So an array would have values like this. So I'm just gonna put a ton of string values like this. I forgot to put a comma here. This would be an array filled with strings. Now, arrays and tables can also contain any other value. I'm just putting strings here for an example. So you can put like a function in array or a table in array. And arrays, they, ha they use a number as the key. So this value would be one, this one would be two, this one would be three, this one would be four, this one would be five. Those are arrays. So now, dictionaries. I'll just make this a lot cleaner by doing this. So this is an array. It uses numbers or integers as its key value. So whenever you want to refer to an array, you would just say, let's just say we define this as local array equals this. You will refer to that as array let me make this go here so it goes with it. If you wanted to get this value, you would do array and then use these brackets and say 1. And that would basically get this value. If you want to get 2, just get this. That will give my. If you want to say like print this, that would just print my into the output. So that's how those work. Dictionaries are a bit different. So let me just define a dictionary. Local dictionary equals now I'm just gonna have these spaces here dictionaries instead of these numbers as the key value they use strings so let's just say you have people so maybe we can name this dictionary people equals and then let's just say Billy equals five so let's just say these are these numbers that this is equal to are the age say Billy equals age, mom equals 40, Johnny equals 8. So let's just say this, right? You may be wondering, how do you refer to these? But it's actually simple. Just refer to them as, so if you wanted to print it out, you would just refer to people, which is this dictionary. And then in brackets, you would just put the string name. In this case, let's just say Billy. You can also just put Johnny or Mom here. That would just print 8. Well, what you can also do, if these strings values don't have a space, you can just do people.johnny. Like that. It's like if you have a part under a part, you would just refer to it by its name. What, so you might be asking, what happens if you have a string that has spaces? Will that work? Well, you have to use it like this. Remember, when we refer to it, we can use either use dot, which is just like referring to it like this, or we use these brackets with the quotes. So, let's just say, Mary Jo equals 14. If you did, well, you can't use dot here, so you have to use these brackets, put in quotes, Mary Jo, and then that would print 14. And this thing, we're going to review it. That prints the second value. That would print my. There's also this Lua thing called table. This is a, this is like a Lua global. And it has a ton of functions in here that are kind of useful. So these functions in here 
actually only work for arrays because arrays they have the key set to a number value so you can't use them for dictionaries also if you want to change a value to arrays let's just say array and then value 3 equals and then put a string here let's just say something that would replace this third value with something so if you print it and then you use this thing which basically allows you to print a table and then if you were to put in here array this would basically print out something like this so you would have these brackets and then it would just print out like this hi my and then something and then is Bob that would be how it works so you can also define certain values of things inside of this so what I mean by that is let's just say you were saying like local level equals this maybe you want to give bonus to people of higher level in a game of yours so let's just say one two three five seven nine but then what if you just out of the blue wanted to have a value at like a hundred well simple you just do this and then 100 equals like 180 or something what this is like the key is the number here dictionaries the key is a string so that's basically it simple things about tables which are either arrays or dictionaries arrays use a number and dictionaries use a string for the key which they're useful for things like for IV and pairs like those the first variable would be the key the key second variable would be the value so that's basically how these work so be, hope you enjoyed the video be sure to watch some of my other ones and enjoy because I'm gonna upload some more Roblox tutorials in the future